Margaret Qualley is putting the orange jumpsuit back in the closet. The maid and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood star will no longer play Amanda Knox in Hulu's untitled miniseries about the exonerated murder suspect who spent almost four years in Italian prison, Entertainment Weekly has confirmed. Deadline Hollywood first reported the news, citing scheduling reasons. Knox gained notoriety from her connection to the 2007 sexual assault and murder case of Meredith Kircher, who lived with her in Perguia. Knox was initially convicted of the crime in 2009, but after a tumultuous legal battle, the verdict was overturned, and she was ultimately acquitted in 2015, after years behind bars. Knox herself is producing the Hulu project alongside Monica Lewinsky, while Gossip Girl and This Is Us scribe K.J. Steinberg is writing. Ethan Cohen's Drive-Away Dolls kicked off a busy 2024 for Qualley. She's set to appear in Yorgos Lanthimos' Kinds of Kindness, which co-stars Emma Stone, Jesse Plemons, and Willem Dafoe and will release in June, as well as the horror film The Substance, which also stars Demi Moore and Dennis Quaid. Both films will premiere at the Cannes Film Festival next month. Qualley briefly appeared in Lanthimos' Poor Things last year, and she's set to reunite with Cohen and Honey Don't in the near future. She also recently co-directed and starred in the music video for Tiny Moves by Bleachers, the pop rock band fronted by her husband, Jack Antonoff. Qualley received an Emmy nomination in 2022 for her lead performance in Made, which co-starred her mother, Andy McDowell. She'd previously been nominated for her supporting performance in Foss Slash Fair Dawn. Knox's story was previously told in the 2016 documentary Amanda Knox. Her saga also inspired the 2014 psychological thriller The Face of an Angel, which starred Kate Beckinsale and Daniel Bruhl, as well as the 2021 thriller Stillwater, which starred Matt Damon and Abigail Breslin. Knox criticized the latter project on social media shortly after its release. I continue to be accused of knowing something I'm not revealing, of having been involved somehow, even if I didn't plunge the knife. So Tom McCarthy's fictionalized version of me is just the tabloid conspiracy guilter version of me, Knox wrote. By fictionalizing away my innocence, my total lack of involvement, by erasing the role of the authorities in my wrongful conviction, McCarthy reinforces an image of me as a guilty and untrustworthy person.